Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and some exciting news. We'll call it an unboxing, if you will. For the longest time, the um, <laughs> Billy Joel song, right? Okay, but for the longest time, we have had a very, very bad uh, shortage of L03A brake pads. Now, the L03A brake pads, um, they look like this. And these are the ones off my personal bike that I have removed because I don't ride them. I don't ride the Shimano pads because I honestly think these little fins and all the hoopla and all the panic and obsession for these um, fins are silly. It's just my personal opinion. Um, and it was reinforced again today. So today I did a short ride and there is a lot of steep grades in this area, really close to my shop. And oh, by the way, I posted a video while I was riding um, about the Wahoo Roam and uh, the fact that I'm getting some interesting battery life indications. So I'll link that below. But anyway, I I want to apologize because I had my finger uh, over the lens and uh, it's it's a mess. But anyway, the point is that on that ride, uh, lots and lots and lots of steep grades, 15, 20 plus percent grades. And I don't ride the Shimano pads because I, I just don't think that they're all that great. And it was reinforced upon me again today as I was descending these steep grades and I was purposely on the brakes the whole time. So generally, I descend pretty quick. I'm not afraid of high speeds. I can corner very, very well, but I purposely was on the brakes um, because uh, the people I, or the person I was riding with, I just wanted to keep within a um, within eyesight. And I just realized, why do people obsess about the silly little fins on these brake pads? I mean, honestly, think about it. Do you really think those little fins are going to help that much in cooling off the pad? Anyway, so I received a batch of 50 of these L05A hyphen RF. RF for radiator fin. Um, and, you know, they came in and I, I really do like the fact that the packaging has changed for Shimano. Let me show you um, if you haven't seen the packaging in the past. Um, you know, it was a lot of plastic right there. And it was great because you could see the product, right? By the way, these are also pads you can use with your Shimano flat mount brakes. So you don't have to wait for the L03A or the L05A. This is a metal pad um, and a lot, of, a lot of folks should be using them anyway, depending on the weather. But that was the old packaging and this is now the new packaging. It is now more cardboard and no um, plastic. So... What we have is a little baggie like this. And we're going to dump those out. We're going to make sure that we grab them properly so as not to touch the braking surface. And so there you go. This is the new L05A brake pad. And I hope that that is focused and I'm holding it there long enough, hoping that they will focus properly. Um, so if you were to look at the L03A and the L05A, they side by side, they would be completely, completely the same, indistinguishable from one from the other. Um, and then this is the 
pad side and hopefully that's in focus so I'm just holding it there longer so that the camera can do the focusing trick okay so basically it's the same thing now they have uh, now it was very hard to get information on these pads and so I had to look on European websites uh, to see what they thought was the big deal or why they created a new pad so it was supposed to be like a 40 percent increase in pad wear so hopefully that will be true um and you know it's interesting because we should talk about this if you're burning through your pads quickly then you should not be riding resin pads now if you like the way re resin pads feel, which is typically a little smoother, a little quieter. They're the type of pads that um, when you when you grab the brake, you feel a little bit more modulation than you would with a metal pad or a sintered pad if you're from the, the SRAM world. But a metal pad gives a, a better initial bite it's better in all weather conditions, so rain, mud, and all that other stuff. So weather and elements, like a, um, you know, river crossings or gravel riding. I mean, you should be on metal pads, like these here, these L04, L04C pads. Um, they also have better heat tolerance than a resin pad or the L03A or the L05A, right? So, um, you know, this was kind of an unboxing for the L05A pads, but why not give an education and um, since I have your attention already. So if you need to choose between a resin and a metal pad, those are some of the reasons you would choose that uh, one over the other. Um, and as I mentioned before, I, I just don't even use these Shimano pads. Um, and I got another order today of the pads I do use, which are the MTX pads. And I order them 20 to 30 at a time. I get them coming in about every other week or so. I, I just, I go through them so quickly. And these, these 50 here, um... I, I mean, I don't have much left now because I've had a ton of back orders that I had to ship out. Um, I'm covering customers' names, but there's stuff that I, I, you know, I've i already spent the better part of my afternoon going through the back orders and, and, you know, getting in touch with people and saying, hey, pads came in. But a lot of these folks had ordered the L03A and I had to give them an education on the L05A because interestingly enough, people haven't seen my video that the L03A is basically now the L05A. Um, it's kind of the upgrade, if you will. But I do still need to tell you, you don't have to ride with the fins, okay? You don't need those pads. The, you know, previous videos tons of other options you can ride pads and they work very very well and some are upgrades to sit around and just wait for finned pads is silly and it's brake pads i mean they wear out you get a set now they wear out you get another set later oh well the shimano pads are still not in stock okay you get another set and when the Shimano pads do come in stock, then you get those, right? You know, it's it's a funny thing because I was thinking about this as I was riding today. If you went to an automobile brake place and the mechanic said to you, hey, you know what, your, your, um, your rotors need to be turned and you need new brake pads. Would you even ask them <laughs> what type brake pads they're going to put on? No, you wouldn't. You'd be like, okay, yeah, they're brake pads. I'm getting them at this 
uh, garage. I'm getting them at this service uh, location. They are looking out for my best interest. They have brake pads in stock to put onto my car. Now let's think about this for a minute. This is a 4,000 pound vehicle. You've got your family in there and you've never asked what brake pads someone is putting on your car. That a car, SUV, truck, choose the item. Your method of conveyance. And you've never even asked what brake pads are on there. So please stop obsessing about the dumb stuff. Get yourself a set of brake pads. Many, many brake pad options are available. You do not need to use the Shimano brake pads. If you can find them, great. If you're willing to put it in a back order and wait months for them, great as well. Do that. I think a lot of folks, this is their first disc brake bike and they're just doing what seems logical to them. Oh, I have L038 pads on my bike. I'm just going to replace them with another set of L038 pads. That makes complete sense. If you've heard this spiel before on my videos, please just tune out for a minute. But you don't need them. You really don't. Brake pads work very well without fins. And I always say this as well. SRAM doesn't have fins. FSA doesn't have fins. Um, Campagnolo does not have fins on their brake pads. So if they were that essential, you would have them on all brake pads, right? Everyone would make a version that wouldn't you know, have any patent issues, but they would make a version that would work with fins. They would make one. You know, Swiss Stop makes a pad with fins. Um, I think either Cool Stop or, um, I don't carry them, but I believe Cool Stop and maybe even Jaguar makes a pad with fins too. So Shimano does not own the market on finned pads. And so anyone else could have done it or can do it, and they don't. So please, don't waste any more time, effort, energy, scouring the internet, looking for pads with fins. You don't need them. But if you do want them, and you do need them, I have some in stock. I have back orders. They take priority. But of course, I um, will be getting even more sets because I have hundreds upon hundreds of these on back order. I have back orders on the L03A pads going all the way back to March of 2021. And this is June of 2022. So what is that? Uh, 15 months I've been waiting on L03A pads. But I think the spigot has finally been turned on for the L05A pads. And hopefully those will start to trickle in. The dates have, have continued to slip uh, direct from Shimano, which is where I order them from. Uh, they were supposed to ship out in May, then June, early June, and now late June. So hopefully more and more pads will start hitting the marketplace. But you don't have to wait for those. There's other things in stock that work very, very well. Um, oh, and then the other things, I, I was having a discussion with someone earlier today as well. And... You know, I climb a million feet per year. A lot of my rides are in this local area where we have 15, 20, and then some percent grades. And so I'll go out and I'll take my crew out on a 50 miler with 10,000 feet. And that typically means a lot of steep grades to get that high of elevation gain in such few miles, in so few miles. So Steep descents are abound in this area, and I've never had brake failure. I've never had brake fade uh, by using pads that are not finned. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your time and your attention. Please leave a comment down below. Please, um, you know, tell me about your experience with other pads other than the fin pads and 
put other viewers at ease that uh, they don't need to have a finned pad to have great uh, braking performance. It's all about the brake compound, not the fins, okay? Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your time and your attention. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It means the world to me uh, to watch the subscribers go up. And more subscribers means I have more leverage to do other things with um, vendors and products and things like that. So thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Like and subscribe. We'll see you up the road.